Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Place NAP guys. I've got a brand new video for you guys, a wonderful tutorial for the new Forza Horizon 5. If you're like me, was super disappointed when the game originally released. So I got the highest package, it cost me £80 for the game. And just like what, if you're watching this video, if you clicked on this, you're having the same issue I was having where you cannot use your game in steering wheel. So I've got here the Logitech G29, the Xbox One edition, the newest one. Uh, cost me about 300 pounds um and if you're like me you were super excited to play the new forza horizon for uh, forza horizon 5 with a steering wheel but as soon as you connected it up on pc just like me you got this lovely issue so the controller disconnected this is a current ongoing bug they're having in forza um i was searching 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 on release day to find anyone who had a fix no one had a fix till this morning so there is a fix for this this is not my fix this is i'm just resharing it to my wonderful community and the rest of youtube and the rest of the world twitter everywhere reddit um so if you are like me and you do want to play this with steroid there is a quick fix you can do nothing to any programs or anything and you're ready to go and you can play just like normal um, i am not 100 sure if this works for the people who are playing it through the microsoft store i think it should um, because you're using the same kind of fix. I'm currently playing this through the Steam version. Um, but I'll show you what you gotta do. Um, you might have to use release day as well for the a standard release as well. So kind of prep for that. Um, but yeah, here's how you fix it. So if I move my mouse, I'll press enter. You go back to the main screen and you can see I can move around the hub. I can do, I can jump into the game. I can do everything I kind of wanted to do. But if you do, like I said before, if you use a steering wheel, you get this one pop up. Uh, which stops you from getting out if you click OK on the thing, it just keeps popping up. It just you just can't get through this wall. What you can do if you're on Windows, if you hold the Windows key and push G, you'll get what's known as the Xbox game. I think it's called a, uh, what's it called? Xbox game bar, I believe it's called. Yeah, Xbox game bar. So if you go into Xbox game bar by pressing Windows and G. Find any position on the screen with the mouse and just simply left click. It tricks the system into thinking I'm still using the mouse, even though you're not. So I can press OK on the steering wheel. So I press A, sorry, on the steering wheel. You see the system settings are still currently in Windows mode, but I can still now use my steering wheel, even though I'm not using my PC. You can stay, there is a guy that says you can't use the mouse anymore. You can't use any of the buttons of the mouse, but you can still use the input positions. So you can move the mouse off screen, so it's not in your way anymore. And now I can play using my steering wheel. So if I press B, if I just really quickly turn off the music, because of copyright and all that loveliness, and I'm using my pedals, as you can see, I can use my steering wheel just like I'm expected to use for this game. I've got it in manual mode, so I've got to do all the clutch stuff, because you know, I can try to play this properly. But this is just a simple way to do it. If this guy did work for you, please guys hit that like um hit give me a like guys. Also, leave a little message in the description as well. Like I said, the person who originally made this fix, I will be linking his post in the description. So if you guys want to go down and show the show the original discoverer. Oh my god, I'm I got like one hand on the world right now. I'm talking to you guys. Who actually found this fix? Um, show him some love as well because if it wasn't for him we'd all be stuck for another week or so dealing with not having the steering wheel um, all the buttons work as you can see not using the mouse or keyboard for anything but be aware guys if you do anything with the keyboard I press W and then I use my steering wheel it pops up again so just make sure you just don't touch your keyboard don't touch your mouse and it should be good remember Windows key G left click on the screen and I'm good to go so guys have fun Enjoy Forza like I am. See you guys on stream maybe. Benjamin Place 1080p and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care people.